giver of light, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day will I bless you. I will praise your name forever to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord. Blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord. Blessed are you. Lord, have mercy. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from Lord, one generation to the next. Grant this, I o cried Lord. out, Lord, have mercy on Grant me, this, o Lord. heal my soul, for I have sinned against Grant you. This, o Lord. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please this, you, Lord. for you are my God. For in you, to you is the Lord. fountain of life, and in your light For you are God of mercies and love mankind, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In any posse, peace be with you all. You. Holy God, o Holy Lord, you who dwell on high and see things below, who look upon all creation with your overseeing holy eye, we bow our soul and body and we pray to you, Holy of Holies. Extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you, O oh God, show mercy to us and save us, and to you we give glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Blessed is Christ our God, always now and ever to the ages of ages. Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory Most to the Holy Father and the Son save us. and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. May Christ, our true God, who was baptized in the Jordan for our salvation as a good and loving and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of the most holy, pure mother, the Theotokos, the holy, glorious, and all honored apostles, for St. Mark, the evangelist, patron of our church, for the saints that we remember today and of all your saints, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. 
as you were baptized Blessed in the Jordan of the ages. Then the worship of your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you in his kingdom always now and the ages of ages. Amen. The of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son and the Spirit in the form of a dove. Confirm the certainty of the word of Christ God who appeared and illumine the world. Glory to you. We praise God at this time for continuing to bring us together for this great and holy feast of the Theophany where our Lord is baptized in the Jordan by John for our salvation. At this time, we continue to draw together in prayer, and we thank all of those who are here present, and for those who continue to offer their candles to be lit. I know that Gerard and the others are with us today to help light those candles. May our dear Lord continue to purify our hearts with the waters of the Jordan today. <clears throat> Ευλογήσον δέσποτα, ευλογημένη βασιλεία του Πατρός κατ'ουίου. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δεϊθόμεν, Υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάνων ενώσεως του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, υπέρ των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, υπέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Αλεξίου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της εν Χριστώ διακονίας παντός του κλήρου και του λαού του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the 
exodus of Israel from Egypt, the house of Jacob. Tes pres vi estis Theotokos, oter sos animas. The sea saw them and fled, the Jordan turned back. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. What is it to you, O sea, that you fled into your Jordan, that you turn back? Tes pres vi estis Έτσι και την ειρήνη του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν. Αντιλαβούσο σον ελέισον και διαφύλαξον ημά ο Θεό τη Ιχαρήτη. Κύριε Λαϊσόν. Τη Παναγία Αχράντου υπερευλογημένη εν δόξου δεσπινισιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία. Με τα πάντων των Αγίων μημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Συ Κύριε. Ότι σών το κράτος και σου εστίν η βασιλεία και η δύναμις και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις Θεώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. I have loved because the Lord shall hear the voice of my supplication. Σω σον ημάς η Αθεού, ο εν Ιορδάνη υπό Ιωάννου βαπτιστής, ψαλλοντας η Αλληλουία. For he inclined his ear to me, and in my days I shall call upon him. Save us, O Son of God, who were baptized by John in the Jordan. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord is merciful and righteous, and our God has mercy. So soni masiateu, o eni odani po ioanu baptistis, salon dasi alleluia. Dux apati keio, keio kramati, kenin kei, kes tu seonas oreonon, amin. O mono yenisios ke logos tu theu, athanatos i parfon, ke katad examenos di atini meteron sotirian, sat hothine, actis aias theotoku, ke ai parthenu marias, atreptos en anthropisas. Σαυρωθείστε Χριστέ ο Θεός, θανάτο θανάτον πατήσας. Ίσον της Αγίας Τριάδος, συνδοξαζόμενος το Πατρί και το Αγίο Πνεύματι. Σώσον Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. And the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the certainty of the word. Oh. 
του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν Πάτερ Άγιο Βλόγιστον και Ιησού Sophia, for thee, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Save us, O Son of God, who was baptized in the Jordan by John. And your dani baptizo menus kyrie, mitis triados e fanerothi proskinisi, tu garieni toros ti foni prose martirisi, agapiton se ion onomazos, ke to pnevma eni vi periseras. Επεβαίου του λόγου το ασφαλές Ο επιφάνης Χριστέ ο Θεός Και τον κόσμο φωτίσας δόξασή Του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊσόν. Ότι Άγιος ή ο Θεός και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπωμεν του Πατρί και του Υιού και του Άγιο Πνευματή δίν και αή. Και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Let's pray to the Lord. Holy God, you who dwell among the saints, you are praised with the seraphim. Thrice holy him and glorified by the chairs and worship by all heavenly powers. You have brought all things that are nothing into being. You have created the man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. Give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant who not only looks the sinner, but have established repentance as a way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this holy hour before your holy altar and to all of your praise and worship. Master, also accept this thrice holy hymn. The lips of the sinners and visit us in your goodness, forgive our voluntary and voluntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. Through the intercession of the Theotokos and of all the saints that please you throughout the ages, O Sweet Christ, all who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Those who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. Both now and forever and through the age of ages. Amen. Those who have put on Christ have put on Christ. Dynamis with conviction. Father, give the blessed is he who comes in the name of the Father, Lord. Bless the throne Lord. Blessed is he who is thrown upon the chair of him always now and ever to the ages of ages. Be attentive. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to Titus. Let us be attentive. Titus, my son, the grace of God has appeared for the salvation of all men, training us to renounce irreligion and worldly passions and to live sober, upright, and godly lives in this world, awaiting our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of the great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity and to purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. 
But when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us not because of deeds done by us in righteousness, but in virtue of his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal in the Holy Spirit, which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. Peace be with you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. Peace be with you who proclaims the gospel. Again, in countless times, we fall before you and we pray to you. O oh, good and loving God, hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O oh God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to those who pray with us, so that we may also, we always may worship and reverence you with love and partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. O fosse per tu carato su pando te fila to meni, si doc sanana pembo men, to patri che to io che to agio pnemati, nin che agi, che su se onna sone onno. But because of your inevitable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our high priest and the Lord of all, and have entrusted to us the liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things on heaven and earth. You are seated upon the throne of the cherubim. You alone are holy and dwell among the saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and my heart of an evil conscience and enable me by the power of the Holy Spirit so the vested in the grace of the priesthood I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy pure body and your precious blood. Therefore I come to, with my bowed head and pray, do not turn away from me nor reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and a worthy servant, worthy to offer you these gifts for, the, for you, O Christ our God, of the offerer and the offered, the one who is received and distributed, O Christ our God, unto you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We who mostly represent the cherubim and the hearts and the life of Let us set aside all our worldly cares of life. I receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mostly represent the cherubim and the slain with thrice holy hymn, the life-giving Trinity, let us set aside all of our worldly cares. I receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
Πάντων ημών, μισή κύριο ο Θεό, αντί βασιλεία του πάντοτε νύχια και ίσω αιώνα στον αιώνα. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever. And on to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord remember your priests, your priests, your priests. O esimon yosif to seal kafelon to afren don to soma sin don kafare di sesa di versas apeseto. Υπέρ του πρωτοθέντων τιμιών δώρων του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ του Άγιου Ικου τούτου και των μεταπίσεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον ένα αυτό του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ του δυσύνεϊ μας από πάσης λήψεως, οργής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δαϊσό, Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, 
a garden of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, our Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Peace be with you all. With your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence and in The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskomen tina yerna foran, en irini prosferi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts unto the Lord. Let us thank the Lord. It is, it is proper and right to sing you, to bless you, to praise right. you, and to thank you, and to worship you in all places of your dominion. For you, O God, are inevitable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being. And when we fell away, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, 
the seraphim, the six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. So love the world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather he delivered himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, blameless hands. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete faiete tutum vestito soma toi perimon clomenonis afesina martion. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Piete ex aftu pandes tutu estito emamu, totis genisti atikis tui perimon ke pilone hinomenon, is afesin amartion. Remembering, therefore, the saving command that has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. Tasa ekton son, si prosferoman, katapanda kai di aponda. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts and all and for all. And once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that are presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that we may be for those who partake of them. Vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not into judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer to you the spiritual worship for those who are opposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Ερετός της Παναγίας αχράντου υπερβλοημένης εν δόξου δεσφύνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρία. Saint John the Prophet and forerunner of the Holy, Glorious, and Most Honorable Apostles. And far more exalted than all the saints who remember today. Fall asleep in the resurrection, hope of eternal life. How to speak your praise as is fit. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always known, never done to the ages of ages. Amen. On this world, are feeling from how to praise you, the Otokos. But as you are good, accept our faith. We also offer to you the spiritual worship for the whole world, the Holy Catholic and Apostolic and Church, those living in purity and holiness, and all those in public service. Permit them, O oh Lord, to serve and govern in peace through the faithful conduct of their duties, and may live peaceful and serene lives in piety and all holiness. Christians, you do we magnify. 
Above all, remember Lord, Lord Archbishop, Archbishop Alexios, grant, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, brightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel, the sick, the suffering, and captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable works and for those who serve in your holy churches and those who care for the poor and send down on us your rich mercy. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. And the mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them, at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Dine noti datis pistos, ket in kinonia anto iu pnevmatos et is amini, e aftus ke alilus, ke pasant in zoini mon, Christo to Theo, paratho metha. Que catexio son imas espoda, meta parisia, sa catacritos tol man epicaliste, se ton epuranion Theon patera, que legin. Paterimon, o endis furanis, ayasito ton omaso, el feto vasiliasu, Ye nisitu tu theli masu, os en urano ke epitisis. Ton artin nu mon ton epiusion dosim in simeron, ki afu semin ta ofelimata imon, os ke mis afimen su felati simon. Ke mis en yenis masis perasmon a alis e imas apu tu poni ru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks to your invisible King by your infinite power. You created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything out of nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, guard the course of our lives according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. The holy gifts are for the holy. Master, break. One is holy. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, and not the holy the cup for every eaten and ever consumed, sanctifying those who partake. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ conquers.
got the body on my hand, so I can't take that off. Is together i believe and confess lord that you are truly the christ the son of the living god who came into the world to save sinners of whom i am the first i also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood therefore i pray to you have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions voluntary and involuntary in word and deed known and unknown and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I should be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as to Judas, but as a thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Amen. Please be seated for a few moments as our clergy prepare the Eucharist for us all to receive. It's a true blessing that we're all here together on this day, and we continue to bring ourselves into the fold in the life of our Lord by virtue of being present here for these prayers and these feast days. And today I'm reminded of the fact that when we start the new year, we make these resolutions, right? Things that are plausibly helpful for us in different ways of life. But this is the resolution, this is the transformation that we should truly see as the first part of our year here. We can be transformed by these waters of the Jordan, these blessed waters that our Lord provides us. And just a few weeks ago, we saw that our Lord became man and was born unto us for our salvation. And these things continue to go forth by our Lord revealing himself to us. And as you see in the icon of Theophany, the epiphany where our Lord is baptized, and we hear in the hymns and in the gospel for today, that truly the Trinity was made manifest on this feast. That means that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three distinct persons, one Holy Trinity, they were all made known to us by virtue of this great feast. All of us, most of us in the sanctuary have been baptized. And through these waters of the Jordan, we can be cleansed once again. But we have to believe in the transformation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Lord himself, is the one who can transform still water into running life-giving water. Our Lord is the same one who can transform the bread and wine into the life-giving sacrament of his body and blood. And so today, I'm reminded to be a part of this transformation, to believe in the transformative properties of our Lord, that these sacraments are not to be stale, but they're supposed to be in our belief, life-giving. So when we come to the church and we faithfully attend, let us ask our Lord as we do in these prayers to make us worthy to partake of these great mysteries of Christ. And through them, we can carry this life-giving water in us to all that are in the world. And so at this time, I, I ask that our Lord continues to bring us closer through the Eucharist and through the divine waters that are here present today. Also, a blessed name day for anyone who is here and who has loved ones that represent today, whether it's Epiphany, Theophany, Epiphanios. There's a variety of names, but we have to remember our dear friend Fotula, 
Asimo's daughter, and anyone who is named for today. A special thank you to Asimo for the last 24 hours preparing so much of the festal arrangements for today. She is the one who the bishop gave the blessing to be in the altar to help us tidy up, but also to help us prepare for each of these feasts. And I can tell you it's a blessing for our clergy and for our faithful to have her in the leadership of such. Also, as we finish the Divine Liturgy, we will receive the, the Holy Eucharist, and then following that, we will do the small blessing of the water service here in the front, where our clergy will lead us in such. Following, you can come up to receive the blessing where the priest will bless you with the holy water that is blessed today, these waters, these transformative waters of the Jordan. The bread will be farther in the back, and then also in the back there will be holy water bottles, and there will also be the kolim vitra, the, the vessel with the holy water for you to dispense um, accordingly. So may our dear Lord continue to bless us and to bring us forth all to be one in the life-giving sacraments at this time and forevermore. Amen. Με τα φόβου Θεού πίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε. With the fear of God, with faith, and with love draw near. Exodus of Israel from Egypt, the house of Jacob, the Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance.
Can't up them by any the penny stand us and bear to low to us on us. Oh, happy funny speech to the horse. Can't all cause one for Jesus, no, Sassy. Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And la vos also in eleison, que dia filax unimas o theos, tis hijariti. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Oh. Let us depart in peace. Let us be attentive. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them who return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people, for every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And do we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Yep. Φωνή Κυρίου επί των υδάτων βοά λέγουσα δεύτε λάβετε πάντες πνεύμα σοφίας πνεύμα συνέσεως πνεύμα φόβου Θεού του επιφανώντος Χριστού. Σήμερον των υδάτων να ιάζετε οι φύσεις και ρίγνετε ο Ιορδάνης και των ιδίων να μάθουν επέχει το ρεύμα δεσπότην ώρων βαπτυπτωμένων. Ο Christ the King you have come to the river as a man and in your goodness you make haste to receive the baptism of a servant at the hands of the forerunner for the sake of our sins for you love mankind glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages amen at the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord you have come O Lord the reading is from the prophet Isaiah wisdom let us be attentive thus says the Lord the wilderness and the dry land shall be glad the desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing the glory of Lebanon shall be given to it the majesty of Carmel and Sharon they shall see the glory of the Lord the majesty of our God strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees say to those who are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your God will come with vengeance with the recompense of God he will come and save you then the eyes of the blind shall be open, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. 
For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. And a highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not pass over it. The fool shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come up on it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. The reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And he who has no money, come by and eat. Come by wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Hearken diligently to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in fatness. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear that your soul may live, and I will make with you an everlasting covenant. My steadfast, sure love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call nations that you know not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you, because of the Lord your God and of the Holy One of Israel. For he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and return not thither but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle. And it shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign which shall not be cut off. The reading is from the prophet of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say in that day, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he had done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Let us be attentive. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Wisdom. The reading is from the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I want you to know that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same supernatural food and all drank the same supernatural drink for they drank from the supernatural rock which followed them and the rock was Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son with you, I am well pleased. <laughs> και ευθέως αναβαίνουν από το ύδατος είδες σκιζωμένους τους ουρανούς και το πνεύμα ως περιστεράν καταβαίνουν επ' αυτόν και φωνή εγένετο εκ του ουρανών. Συ ο Υιός μου ο αγαπητός εν ο ειδόκησα
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the deacons in the service of Christ, for all the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and land, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this water, that it may be sanctified by the might and operation and descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for these waters that the cleansing operation of the Trinity Supreme in being may come down upon them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For these waters that they may be given the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan by the power and operation and descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have that we may be enlightened by the light of knowledge and godliness through the descent of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this water, that it may become a gift of sanctification, a remission of sins, for the healing of soul and body, and for every purpose that is expedient, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this water that it may become a fountain springing up into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this water that it may serve to the averting of every evil purpose of enemies visible and invisible. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who draw from this water and take it for the sanctification of their dwellings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this water that it may bestow cleansing of soul and body upon all who draw it with faith and partake of it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have that we may be deemed worthy to be filled with holiness through partaking of these waters by the invisible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That the Lord our God may hear the voice of us sinners and have mercy upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from every tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Τις Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αεπαρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων νημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Σίγαρ πρέπει πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνησης Συν τον άρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι νυν και αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. The Holy Trinity supreme in being and goodness and the Godhead Almighty who watches over all invisible and comprehensible maker of spiritual beings and rational natures in a goodness light that none can approach and that lightens every man that comes into the world. Shine also upon us your unworthy servants. Enlighten the eyes of my understanding that I may behold 
be bold to sing the praises of your immeasurable goodness and might. May the prayer that I offer here present be acceptable to you, O Lord. Let not my faults hinder your Holy Spirit from being present here, but allow me now, uncondemned, to cry to you, O most holy Lord, and to say, we glorify you, O Master who loves mankind, almighty, pre-eternal King. We glorify you, the creator and maker of all things. We glorify you, O holy begotten Son of God, born without father from your mother and without mother from your father. In the preceding feast, we saw you as a child, while in the present, we see you full grown. Our God made manifest, perfect God for perfect, for perfect God. For today, the time of the feast is at hand for us, and the choir of the saints assembles with us, and the angels join with men in celebrating this festival. Today, the grace of the Holy Spirit in the form of the dove descended upon the waters, Today the sun that never sets has risen and the world is filled with splendor by the light of the Lord. Today the moon shines upon the world with the brightness of its ray. Today the glittering stars make the inhabited earth fair with the radiance of their shining. Today the clouds drop down from mankind and dew of righteousness from on high. Today the uncreated of his own will accepts the laying on of hands from his own creature. Today the prophet and foreigner approaches the master, but stands before him with trembling, seeing the condensation of God toward us. Today the waters of the Jordan are transformed into healing by the coming of the Lord. Today the whole creation is watered by mystical streams. Today the transgressions of men are washed away by the waters of the Jordan. Today paradise has been opened to men and the sun of righteousness shines down upon us. Today the bitter water, as once with Moses, and the people of Israel is changed to sweetness by the coming of our Lord. Today we have been released from our ancient lamentation, and as a new Israel we have found salvation. Today we have been delivered from darkness and illumined with the light of the knowledge of God. Today, the blinding mist of the world is dispersed by the epiphany of our God. Today, the whole creation shines with light from on high. Today, error is laid low, and the coming of the Master has made for us a way of salvation. Today, things above keep feast with things below, and things below commune with things above. Today, the triumphant assembly of Orthodox keep this holy festival with great joy. Today, the master hastens towards baptism that he may lift man to the heights of heaven. Today, he that bows, not low, not bows down to his own servant that he may set free our bondage of sin. Today, we have purchased the kingdom of heaven for the Lord's kingdom shall have no end. Today, earth and sea share the joy of the world, and the world was fulfilled with gladness. The waters saw you, O God, and the waters saw you and were afraid. The Jordan turned back, seeing the fire of the Godhead descending bodily and entering its stream. The Jordan turned back, seeing the Holy Spirit coming down in the form of a dove and flying around you. The Jordan turned back, seeing the invisible made visible, the Creator made flesh, the Master in the form of a servant. The Jordan turned back, and the mountains skipped, looking upon God in the flesh, and the clouds gave voice, marveling at Him who was come, the light of light, the true God of true God. For today, in the Jordan, they saw the triumph of the Master. They saw Him drown in the Jordan, and the death of disobedience, the sting of error, and the chains of hell, and bestow upon the world the baptism of salvation. Therefore, sinner, and unworthy servant though I am, I recount the majesty of your wonders, and seized with fear, with remorse for my sins, I cry out to you. Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works. No word suffice to praise your mouth.
Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works. No words adequately express all your wonder. Mega si kirie ke thamasata erga su ke odis logos exarkesi prosimnon ton thamasion su. For you, by your own will, have brought all things out of nothingness into being. By your power, you hold together the creation, and by your providence, you govern the world. Of four elements, you compounded the creation. With four seasons, you crowned the circuit of the year. All the spiritual powers tremble before you. The sun sings your praises. The moon glorifies you. The stars pray to you. The light obeys you. The depths are afraid at your presence. The fountains are your servants. You have stretched out the heavens like a curtain. You have established the earth upon the waters. You have walled about the sea with sand. You have poured forth the air that living things may breathe. The angelic powers minister to you. The choirs of archangels worship you. The many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim standing around you and flying about, you hide their faces in fear of your unapproachable glory. You, the uncircumscribed God, without beginning and beyond description, have come upon earth, taking the form of a servant and being made in the likeness of man. For you, Master, in your merciful compassion, could not bear to see mankind beneath the tyranny of the devil, but you came and saved us. We confess your grace. We proclaim your mercy. We hide not your goodness, for you have set free the offspring of our kind. You have sanctified the virgin's womb by your birth. At your epiphany, the whole creation sang your praises, for you are God, having appeared on earth and dwelt among men. You have sanctified the streams of the Jordan, sending down from on high the most holy spirit, and have broken the heads of the dragons here in lurking. Therefore, O King, who loves mankind, be present also through the descent of the Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Aftos ken in despota agia soniti tu idor tuto i dinami tu aiu pnevmatos. Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works. No words serve to praise your marvel. Therefore, O King, who loves mankind, be also here present through the descent of the Holy Spirit and sanctify this water and confer upon it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the Jordan, make it a source of incorruption, a gift of sanctification, a remission of sins, protection against disease, a destruction to demons, a protection against disease, inaccessible to adverse powers and filled with angelic strength to all those who draw from it and partake of it and may have cleansing of their soul and body for the healing of their passions, for the sanctification of their dwellings and for every good purpose. For you are our God who has renewed through water and spirit our, nat our nature grown old through sin. You are our God who has drowned sin through water in the days of Noah. You are our God who through the waters of the sea at Moses' hand set free the Hebrew nation from bondage of Pharaoh. You are our God who has cleft the rock in the wilderness. The waters gushed out and the streams overflowed and you have satisfied your thirsty people. You are our God who by water and fire through Elijah did bring back Israel from the error of Baal. O Master, now as then, we sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Amen. O Master, now as then, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Amen. O Master, now as then, sanctify this water by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant to all those who touch it, who anoint themselves with it, or who drink from it, sanctification, blending, sanctification, healing, and cleansing. Save, O oh Lord, your servants, our faithful authorities. Keep them in peace under your protection. Put away from every enemy and adversary. Bestow upon them whatsoever they ask for their salvation and eternal life. Remember, Lord, our most holy ecumenical patriarch, Bartholomew, our Archbishop of Pilafodos, our Archbishop Alexius, and all the priests and deacons in Christ, the whole order of clergy and the people here present, together with all of our brothers and sisters, absent for just cause. Have mercy on them and upon us, according to your great mercy. So by the elements, by the angels, and by men, by things visible and invisible, may your most holy name be glorified together with your Father and the Holy Spirit now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irini Pasi, peace be with you. with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Incline. Κλείνουν κύριε του ούσου και επάκουσον ημών ον Ιορδάνη βαπτισίνε κατά δεξάμενος και γεια σας τα ύδατα 
και ευλόησεν πάντα σε εμά το δια τη κλίση ω ένα αυτού να φτιάνε ασημένοντα το σύ διανύα πρόσχημα και καταξίω σον εμά εμπλησύνε του αγιασμού σου δια τη του ύδατο σου του μεταλήψε ώστε και ραντισμού και γενέσω ημίν κύριε υγεία ψυχών και σώματο. Incline your ear, O Heros, O God, who accepted baptism in the Jordan and sanctified the waters. Bless us all who by the bowing of our heads outwardly show you our servitude and count us worthy to be filled with your sanctification through partaking of this water and being sprinkled with it and may it bring on us, O Lord, health of soul and body. For you are the sanctification of our souls and bodies and to you we ascribe glory, thanksgiving and worship with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-giving spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. And you and your vani baptizomenus ukiria it is triangos efanerothi proskinisit του Άγιενη το Ρωσυμφωνή προς αιματήρηση αγάπη των σε Υιών ονομάζουσα και το Πνεύμα εν ήδη περιστεράς εβεβαίου του Λόγου το ασφαλές ο επιφανής Χριστέ ο Θεός και των κόσμων φωτίσας δόξασή Επεφάνη σήμερον η οικουμένη και το φως σου κύριε εσύ μειώθη εφημάς εν επιγνώση ύμνοντας ε, ήρθες εφάνης το φως το απρόσιτο of the word sure. oh Christ sure. oh Christ God who appeared and illumined the world glory to you and your tani baptism menus ukirie it is triados efaneroti proskinisis to God genitoros ifoni prose martirisi agapiton se hion onomazusa ke to pnevma en idi peristeras eveveu to logu to asfales o epifanis Christe o theos ke ton kosmon fotisas doxasi as you were baptized in the Jordan, O Lord, then the worship of the Trinity became manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to you, naming you the beloved Son. And the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the certainty of the <laughs> word. O Christ God, who appeared and illumined the world, glory to you. Εσύ μειώθη εφημάς, εν επιγνώσεις ύμνοντας εσ, ήλθες εφάνης, το φως το απρόσιτον. You have appeared today to the world, and your light, O Lord, has been sealed upon us. With full knowledge we praise you. You have come, you have manifested the unapproachable light. Glory to 
fear God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God, who was baptized in the river Jordan by John for our salvation, Christ our true God, have mercy on upon us and save us through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable body of his powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable's glorious and prophet runner, forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous answers of God, Benana, and of all the saints we commemorate, have mercy on us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Happy New Year, Colonia Pola, for all of those who celebrate today and for all of us, a special many years to our beloved clergy who are with us, Father Alexander, Father Jim Mulchettis, Father Jim Dukas, who's in the altar, Father Alex, Deacon John, Deacon Brian, we wish you many, many years of health and happiness. As a reminder, tomorrow there is no liturgy here at St. Mark for St. John but rather we're going to St. Catharines where all of the South Florida parishes will participate and we will have a liturgy all together and then afterwards we'll have the blessing of the waters and the cross dive with our Goya in the intercoastal. This will be in the back of the church to the right. There's cups out there if you'd like to take some as well as some of the Vasiliko, you can take Father Alexander and Father Jim will bless you as you come forward. You can kiss the cross. They'll sprinkle you with holy water. There will be bottles of water that Gerard's going to help us bring to the back of the church. And then together, we'll rejoice. God bless you all. Happy New Year. For those going back to college, we'll miss you. Prayers are with you all. God bless you and be well. Good choices. <laughs>